time working time traveling time where do you chant you know on the in the in the bus i chant the holy name has interacted with you and changed your life there so many times when you try congregation when we interview devotees for initiation you see they have to go at leave the house at you know at 8 o'clock they have to leave they come back at 8 in the night traveling time working time traveling time where do you chant you know on the in the in the bus i chant in the vehicle i chant while driving i chant and man becomes tired he cannot work so much like that when you have no energy you chant what will you do you come back at 8 o'clock okay i finish eight rounds in the morning eight rounds in the night fully tired after come back they start chanting it's a very 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 you know we and, and as time goes on this becomes worse because the work culture is like that the rat race is india india is also completely imitating the west this phenomena happened in the west several years back now india is repeating that everything is happening very fast exactly as whatever happened sociologically to the society the different impact in the society on the lives of people is just a repeat of what happened in the west and indians have no idea what is happening they are just dragged into it there is chaitanya mahaprabhu said anybody who is born in this country has to has to become guru for the rest of the world has to preach where is that culture propas books is the only saving grace if somebody reads propas books get attached to chanting the holy name of the lord then everything will start changing because this is the leela of the holy name every one of us are an example of the leela of the holy name the holy name has interacted with you and changed your life the incarnation of the lord merciful incarnation of the lord by propas by guru's mercy god the hari krishna mahamantra by following guru's instruction to serve the holy name 16 rounds the holy name is reciprocating with you to you know that's what your life is all about everybody's life in krishna consciousness movement is a life of reciprocation with the holy name whether he knows or not whether he is mechanically living to you know chanting and all those things doesn't matter but personally the holy name is he is involved in lifting the devotee out of ignorance that is the first stage first reciprocation one will get come out of this temporary life one will come out of this why about grahastha grahamedi and all those things there is no question of even you know if the chanting of the hari krishna mahamantra is done properly then it's all a question of role play one does not identify himself even as a male or a female this whole consciousness about i am a male or a female in this world is a big cheating if suddenly you get a female body then you know next life you will say i am a female let's say the same soul was there in a male body you say i am a male so you ask the question am i am a male or am i am a female so i am a male now is just a this big cheating i am a female now it is also a big cheating is a big lie and life goes so fast on this earth very easy to realize 100 100 years life unlike in the unlike in the heavenly planets and those who chant hari krishna very quickly that realization comes that realization of brahman realization or sense of eternity of the self eternal existence reality of eternity existence of the soul beyond this changing bodies the person is eternal the identity that the male and female that is not eternal that is just temporary so all these things very easily they come up simply by you have that luxury of this kind of life which krishna says jnana avasthita chetasa the consciousness where you are situated in jnana that i am not this body and with this body i should be performing yajnas should be performing sacrifice for pleasure of vishnu we are living a life of identification we identify ourselves with the determination of the body we identify ourselves with the identity of the body we identify our everything is identified so the soul does not experience direct happiness at all it is identified happiness the material world people love each other it's all identified love it's not real love of the soul identified love first i think i am the man then she thinks she is a woman then he thinks she is a woman she thinks he is a man is all is happening in the kshetra it's not happening in the soul it is happening in the kshetra and you are watching that you are identifying once you identify you will you will completely feel that you are that now to disidentify 
you need detachment it's called detachment for detachment from matter you need spiritual strength because it is something that has happened to your soul attachment is something that has happened to the soul the soul got stuck so detachment is knowledge by knowledge one gets detached Thank you.